All right, Tommy Cowett, the real alien Tom, back on the lawn with you and in the garden. And here it is, July 1st, here in North Carolina. And I want to share something with you here. I'm looking at the newspaper here, the local newspaper, and we've got thunderstorms that are scheduled for all week. I mean, today, tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday. We've got thunderstorms. Um, and if you look at the uh, precipitation, the normal year to date in our area is 20.31 inches. A lot of that does come in the summertime, that's true. But we do get a lot of our precipitation in fall, and that's why we really like to aerate and seed in the fall, the lawns. We can always count on planting landscapes in the fall because it's cooler and get some moisture. So we got a lot of rain ahead of us on a normal basis. Today, we're at 26.41 inches. We're 6.41 inches above normal already, and that's led to some problems. In my garden, I can show you right now, I'm going to give you a little pan around of uh, my tomatoes. They may look okay. You're not seeing disease because I've clipped a lot of that off, but I'm going to show you what's been going on here. Really quick, I want to show you this beautiful plant. This is an Asiatic jasmine called Snow and Summer that I got at Gossett's Nursery. Um, I've been waiting for this to come out. This is a shade-loving ground cover. Just to let you know, it's doing great. It loves the rain. It doesn't mind. So I'm happy about that. So I can fall back on that. But what I want to talk about is a couple of the diseases and using this newspaper to solve the problem. Now, I've been wanting to do this. I, I think I did this about 13, 14 years ago. I'm sheet mulching. I'm taking the newspaper. I got some good information from the newspaper about the weather not good information it's actually bad news and I'm gonna show you a few splash diseases that we get here in North Carolina they're on tomato plants you can see it already right there this one is called septoria leaf spot let me hone in on one that's pretty clear and you could see the septoria leaf spot here's some right here I'm gonna snip that off also want to let you know when I do this that's one disease I want to show you as you can see the little lesions there those are fungal lesions those are fungal lesions and they are attacking the plant and I will just lose it it starts at the bottom it works its way up. It's splashed up from the soil, the spores. I like to come in here and cut these guys. There's spores on these dead material right here, and I just like to get it out of here. So I will throw these guys away. So that is septoria leaf spot. The second most common one we have is called verticillium wilt. And I've got it here on that plant. If you can see the lesions right there on that leaf, I'll cut this off for you. This one's got it. This is Verticillium wilt. And it is attacking the plant, usually from the lower leaves. It works its way up the vine. So I've sheet mulched to keep this splash disease at bay. There's some more right here. This is pretty bad. I'm going to go ahead and cut that whole thing before it spreads all over you can see that pretty good I do you like to clean these scissors and my pruners with alcohol if I'm doing some pruning but just wanted to share that with you it's a problem that we're having here in July 1st and I'm hoping maybe I'll make a comeback I did uh, if you go back to an earlier video this is the herbicide injury uh, tomato plant. Leaf curl caused by herbicide. Now, as you can see down here, I've just got a couple of tomato. Oh, man, they're not doing well. I'll probably just yank these. These, these are the uh, VF100 grape type tomato. They never really did anything. In the, but I did replant, and I'm not showing any signs. Down here was an original one. And you, if you in on that that's that herbicide injury I'll probably just I need to go ahead and yank that up there's no roots there's just a 
little bit of fibrous roots. Here's the rest of them. They're still growing. A little bit of root here. They're not doing well. They're never going to grow out of this. They're stunted. It's a dysfunction in the root. So I need to get rid of those. They're not going to pose any problems around here, but they're just not going to produce anything. So it's been a disappointing time so far. I've got a few tomatoes coming in, but uh, with all this water, it's just led to some issues. So I'm hoping I'll be able to get some. My leafy greens, they're fine. I've been eating them, munching on them. We're still doing good on the squash. Cucumbers are growing up the vine here. That's a pretty nice little cucumber there, got. And uh, I'm hoping to see, see I'm getting a lot of uh, blooms. Look at that little, I hope you're not a moth I don't like. I'm getting a lot of buds on my um, squash. I think what's happening is they are, from what I'm told, they are attracting some of their pollinators. And they're doing a lot of male plants, a lot of male flowers at first. You can see, that's a male, that's an old dead male. Ugh. No females. Maybe I'll, if I come across a female, I'll show you what she looks like. But, uh, it's quite a bit different. Got a little bit of squash going on down here, and there's a little, this is, uh, look at that, pill bug growing, blowing on up there. There's some squash. Some pretty decent squash coming in, cucumbers. It's still early, I planted kind of late. But anyway, just wanted to share that with you. The real alien Tom back with you. And uh, at least I can enjoy my Asiatic jasmine. Snow and summer ground cover, which I'm going to plant in the other garden. Uh, which we need to get over there and show you the tour I've got. The, uh, of the raised bed garden on the other side of the house. That is both for plants as well as vegetables. Okay. Tom, signing out. Have a great one. Bye-bye.